I said yes. Hello, honey. Friend, have you subscribed yet? Have you hit that subscribe button? Because when you hit that subscribe button, there's also a notification bell that you can hit so that every Thursday you get a fresh new episode of Hello, Honey delivered to you. Bing! And you'll be the first to know. So, crazy story. At this exact moment, I should actually be in Vietnam with my family and Jay and his dad. For Christmas, I had gifted Jay with the surprise that I was taking him to Vietnam. To explain to Jay where I was taking him in Vietnam, I made dioramas. <laughs> yes, like a book report. I actually made these dioramas that depicted all the details of the beautiful cities I was gonna take him to. Crazy, right? And I was taking him specifically to South Vietnam, which is Ho Chi Minh, and from South Vietnam travel all the way through North Vietnam, going through all the major cities so that he could discover the entire country and land in Sapa, the northernest part of Vietnam, which is like barely along the border. And it would have been the most amazing escapade that nobody else could have taken him on but me. So we couldn't go. And I was really bummed. Now, first and foremost, obviously, this is a massive crisis. The most important thing right now is that we all stay healthy. So Jay and I being quarantined together has actually been an amazing experience, really just getting through this together. And one thing that Jay and I miss is our creative date nights. When we were dating, we, I have to say, were pretty boss at amazing date nights. Really unique and different, um, sometimes super simple and sometimes really lavish. But being quarantined, we aren't able to go out. So we decided to challenge each other with date nights in. He would have a date night, then I would have a date night. He jumped on it right away and was like, I want that Friday. And I was like, okay, but that was better for me because then I could see what he was gonna do and I can kind of like plan away from that. Little did I know that he kicked my ass right from the start. It was a normal Friday. I thought that maybe around five o'clock I would just go into the bedroom or give him some solo time so he could do whatever and then just come and have dinner. He says, I need you to leave. Don't come back until like eight o'clock. And I'm like, wait, are you kicking me out? He legit kicked me out of his place. There I was taking my lone ass Home. I basically just spent time with mom and I was like, whatever. You know, I didn't really think much of it, right? I got ready for day night. This I actually had fun with because this whole quarantine time, like I haven't worn much makeup at all, if any. Um, pretty much hanging out in sweats. So I put on like a really sexy black dress. I put on my heels. I did my hair. I put on my jewelry. I sprayed my perfume and everything. I put on a sexy pair of chonies. It was the whole thing. It was really nice. It was actually really, really nice to get back into like the date night mode, right? Then I came back to his place. I was coming down the hall and I started to hear really good R&B music, which Jay and I love, right? Joe to see some Maxwell, and I was like, oh, we're having that kind of night. I just had this feeling that he was gonna have the most adorable smile when he opened the door. Every single time in the past that I've shown up for date night, he's always just had this twinkle in his eye and he opens the door and I always wish to myself, damn, I wish I recorded that. So I popped up my camera and I had it ready. And I sat there waiting forever at the door. In fact, he was like, hold on. And he like did a bunch of things and I was sitting there with the camera waiting. And I was like, damn, I wish I had more battery. And then boom, he opens the door and he's wearing all black. He looks super handsome in a fitted black shirt and his trouser pants. And I saw like the place super dark inside. And I was like, oh my God, he like really made this like a serious date night. I, I, I mean, it's quarantine. I thought, what, he's gonna pop a couple of like canned soups on the stove and like heat him up, which is fine with me. I was great with that, but I could just tell already that the mood was different. And he looked, he just looked enchanting. You know, he just looked like he had a glow. I was like, hi. And he said, welcome, come on in. And as I walked in, he started to describe that I was stepping in to a dinner in Vietnam. So here I was looking at the love of my life as he was transporting me to Vietnam. As I turned my attention to the table, there were all these beautiful Vietnamese dishes. He set up our little chopsticks and there were lanterns. Here's the crazy thing. There were actual silk lanterns. Where did you get the lanterns? During the quarantine. We're going to Vietnam. Right? Wait, what? The kinds that you can only get in Vietnam hanging on the window. Pause. And then, 
When I looked closer at every dish, every dish he had ordered was from South to North Vietnam. Those are bánh mì, trái gió, and tôm chiên. So it was like curry ga and gum chiên and goi cuong, all these amazing dishes. And I was like, wait, how did you order these things? While there's a quarantine, he was pouring me more wine and everything he was doing was so calm. So I start to sit down, but before I sit down, he says, wait, wait, I want to show you where you are in Vietnam. So he turns my direction to this TV right here and proceeds to go through a slideshow. From the south to the north, he took me on the exact tour that was on my itinerary that I was planning to take him right now. He superimposed our pictures in each of the cities. So technically, Jay and I traveled to each city in Vietnam from the south to the north. Ho Chi Minh, Da Nang, Hoi An, Hong Sung Cave. It's this ginormous cave in Vietnam that was only discovered five years ago. This cave can fit New York skyscrapers. Nobody knows about this cave. He knew the cave and superimposed our pictures in it. He remembered the details of the trip. Then we get to Yen Chi Mountain and guess who's there? Mama Mai, of course. Of course she has to horn in on our trip. Mama Mai, yeah, you. Whatever. I'm not surprised by the way because Jay and my mom have the most fabulous relationship. Like, wait till you see it. No, no, no. You ha wait till you see it. You have no idea what they're like together. Everything's under control. Everything under control. I was trying to record, but I was shaking because I kept trying to, you know how when you record, you look at the screen, but then I kept looking at the TV too, and I didn't want to miss it all. And I just couldn't believe that he actually remembered each of the cities. I don't remember all of the cities in Vietnam. And I'm Vietnamese. <laughs> The slide that touched me the most was the group picture slide. He had a slide of all of us in Sapa, which would have been the end of our trip. And he had pictures of every single person that was actually going to join us on the trip. It was incredibly thoughtful because I really was bummed that we had to miss out in Vietnam. The fact that Jay did not let the quarantine stop us from still enjoying our trip to Vietnam really touched my heart. And that he remembered such specific details, which means that the trip really meant a lot to him too. So we sat down because I was starving. At that moment, if we stopped, it would have been the best date night. Like, do you understand me? I'm sitting there and he's like, no, here's the crazy thing. I do something out of character, right? Go figure. I'm cold for some reason, right? So I'm like, you know what? I want to go sit by the fireplace. And this is like our favorite spot. Like, you want to find out where we're watching Tiger King or <laughs> just like having slumber parties? It's literally in front of this fireplace. He comes over to join me and he just sits there and he, and he just talks to me. You know, we just talk about how lovely the trip to Vietnam is. At this moment, everything just becomes surreal. I just see Jay's eyes and I don't notice, but he pulls out of his pocket this box and he gets on one knee and he looks at me and he's like, will you marry me? I froze. <laughs> I completely froze because I just could not believe that he did this. I then at that very moment figured it all out. Jay had planned to propose to me in Vietnam. The reason why he brought Vietnam to me is because he didn't want the quarantine to stop the fact that he wanted to propose to me. Jay is my soulmate. I've never met somebody who quite understood more than myself what means most to me in life, what touches me to the core, and what I really need. Quality, sacred, intimate time. So it didn't really matter about Vietnam at all. It could have been at a bus stop that I was with him. I was so glad that I was right there during this whole quarantine in our imaginary Vietnam with the love of my life. I said yes, of course. And I actually said yes, because I want nothing more than to live the rest of my life loving you. <laughs> we just freaked out. And then he turns me to the TV again and he presses play. He had assembled a video with my mom, my dad, his dad, and every single person that was supposed to be on this trip to Vietnam. Each of the people on the video say something very special to Jay and I. When it gets to my dad, he says, When I learned Gigi asking permission to marry Ginny Mai, I'm be more than happy to say yes without thinking. Since I know Gigi as a Kai person, 
good person. So you have our blessing. And so I pictured Jay taking the time to reach out to my dad with my mom there. Jay's dad said something really dear, which was, I, I hope you guys get married soon so that I can see this. And don't take too long now. I really, really hope to see you guys walk down that aisle. There's nothing wrong with having your soulmate with you. We're in a very fickle time right now where you never know what could happen. I mean, one day we were all shopping and, and doing everything we wanted and then this quarantine happened and changed everything. And one day you might have somebody and the next day you might not. So I know that sounds crazy, but I just heard his father's words that he really wanted to make sure he was there to see us walk down the aisle. My mom, my mom said something that really shocked me. Most of my friends are so happy and surprised. You know why? Because you take him all the way to Houston to come to see me. Why he respect the parent like that, and why he respect our culture like that, it make me cry. I'm so shocked, I'm so surprised, gone. Most of American, they come to you, they ask you, are you marry me? You say yes, and then they plan the wedding, they come to tell the parent. They don't even ask the parent opinion. I don't like it at all. He's handsome, he's intelligent, he have an open heart, He's uh, he have everything. He's a bowl, a hundred percent, okay? I give him number one, 10, 10 star. Jay had done the most important thing in my culture, which is to pay respect to the mom and the dad, but also give them time to say, if you're not okay with this, then I'm not going to propose until you are. He was locked in for life. The date didn't end there. If you guys know about our first date, our first date involved salsa dancing and um, he couldn't end the night without dancing. So he said, are you ready to um, step out to the after party? And I was like, where are we going? We're not allowed to go outside. He steps out to the patio where he then gets two beautiful jackets. He puts it on me because it's cold and he puts it on himself. We walk out. Guys, there's bottle service. There's shot glasses. He actually took me to what he called Club Ice, and we proceed to have a dance party out in the patio for the rest of the night. Who does that? Who does that? Now the best part about getting engaged is telling all your family and friends. Woo! Shut you shut up, is this real? Yay, we're engaged! Oh my God, and, I, and my hair looks like sh <laughs> I said yes. Oh my god. And as soon as I walked in, he said, Welcome to Vietnam. And I'm we were actually about to shoot an episode of Hello Honey. And I surprised the family, my mom, my brother, who was behind the camera since we're all quarantined. I can't have the whole Hello Honey crew here. And I FaceTimed my dad and I announced to the family that we were officially engaged. We're engaged! Where? Wow. Wow. wow! Wow! I didn't know that! Let me say wow! <laughs> wow, that's a nice I ring! Wow! I, didn't I know knew that. you would see it, so I took it off! The next morning when I woke up, I didn't want to open my eyes because I thought, no, this whole thing was a dream. There's no way I went to Vietnam. There's no way that he proposed to me in front of the fireplace. There's no way that he already asked my mom about it and then I just saw a video about the whole thing. There's no way that we went to Club Ice and danced the night away. And I felt my hand before I opened my eyes. And then I realized it was real. And, um, and somebody wanted to say a little hi. I think you guys are gonna see this face a lot more often. Don't forget, for, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for sharing this moment with me. Thank you for such a romantic night. Love you guys.